He's coming back. Some guy going quick. Watch it, watch it, watch it. You drink coffee, Harding? Yeah, six cups a day for the last 30 years. Put in a little extra sugar. It's gonna be a long night. Jimmy Condon isn't exactly a nice guy. Why is he not a nice guy? Because he kills people? There's a storm coming at the weather, man. Couldn't hey, Jerry. I start to pull. I think he's a nice guy. It's, it's all in a day's work, you know? The guys he had to kill, they had to be got rid of. They were a menace to society. So uh, sometimes you have to cut through all the courts and bullshit and arresting and lawyers and stuff and take them out. That's, that's his philosophy, you know? I just killed your boy, Sean. I just killed Danny. I had to. He was gonna shoot my son. But do you like him? I... I pity him. I, I see him as like a lone... A lonesome warrior from some bygone age, like one of those samurai guys that, well, or one of those, you know, you've heard those reports of those, those guys who, Japanese soldiers who were still, thought they were still fighting the Second World War, and even though the war ended years ago, you know, he's kind of that type of guy, I think, you know. I'm here asking for my son's life, Sean. I pulled the trigger and I killed Annie. You want to send someone for me? Tell me when. I'll keep the door open, I'll put my gun on the table. Have you been looking for a mutual project with Ed Harris? Uh, no, but I, I've admired Ed for many, many years and uh, we have, uh, we've never met socially, anything like that. We have mutual friends in common, but I was thrilled when, when Jama told me that Ed was going to play the part. I was really, really excited then. And, Got a little bit nervous too, you know, because he's quite a legend at Harris in America. And he's, he's one of our great screen actors, you know. We were very lucky to get Ed. He was doing a Broadway show at the same time. So he would do eight shows a week and then still come to us at night and shoot, and shoot his scenes, you know. When people are talking, I like to see their eyes. Uh, that's just how I like it. And so when you have these two actors and they're so good, I'm not going to shoot their back. I'm not going to shoot from far away. I'm going to be there, you know. And, uh, and it's a Western, you know. So I wanted to, like, be right here and, and see them in their full power. You've got no choice. And when it's done, and it will be done, you and I are going to meet back here at this restaurant at this same table that I used to share with my boy. And I'm going to look you in the eyes just like you're looking me in the eyes right now. And I'm going to see how empty they are without your son in the world. Will traditional action films stand a chance in the world of superhero movies? If, what, you think they're making too many of them, the superheroes? Yeah. There seems to be a glut at the moment, doesn't there? And every superhero movie comes out, there seems to be a spin-off because of one character's success or whatever. Listen, I think they're great. Hollywood makes them superbly. The technical achievement alone is, is quite phenomenal, you know, and there's obviously an audience for them. But as long as they keep making things like run all night, I'll be very happy. And Ed Harris will be very happy. One night, to figure this out. One night. Robert's in your face, am I? 